Today, I'm going to show you a demo of Carbon Black Managed Threat Hunting. Managed Threat Hunting is a new add-on for Carbon Black Cloud Enterprise EDR that targets finding emerging and prevalent threats in customer environments. The Carbon Black Managed Detection and Response Analyst team sees the tools, tactics, and techniques that threat actors use every day across thousands of customers in dozens of industries. Using that wide-angle lens, third-party threat intelligence, and collaboration with the Carbon Black Threat Analytics Unit, or TAU, the Carbon Black MDR Analyst team curates a set of relevant intelligence. They'll then hunt for new or evolving threats with your EDR data and continuously monitor for real-time exploitation attempts. So let's take a look at a typical emerging threat timeline. Let's say on day zero, the Carbon Black MDR analyst team discovers threat actors leveraging a new exploit, like a zero day for Microsoft Excel. No one knows it yet, but threat actors exploited the zero day in a customer environment before the vulnerability was discovered. Thankfully, Carbon Black Enterprise EDR customers have 30 or more days of full EDR data, it's like a security camera recording everything that happens on your endpoints. Carbon Black MDR analysts run a hunt and discover the threat lurking in the customer environment. As long as this threat is still relevant, the Carbon Black MDR analyst team will continue to monitor. So if threat actors try again, the team will find it. All right, let's see it in action. The customer experience starts from an email notification where the Carbon Black MDR analyst team ran a threat hunt and found likely threats. There's a description to the threat along with follow-up notes that analysts can provide after the hunt's complete that might contain additional info about what they discovered along the way. It's worth noting that you would also get a notification if the team ran a threat hunt and didn't find any likely threats, just to confirm that that threat wasn't detected in your environment. We'll follow the link on the email, which takes us to the Carbon Black Cloud Console alert page filtered to the likely threats found by this threat hunt. Right away, we can see the badge that denotes that these alerts were generated by a threat hunt, along with the MDR triage information that tells us that they're likely threats and have analyst comments. It's important to note that to reduce alert fatigue, managed threat hunting only escalates likely threats to your alerts page. We can expand the right rail to get more detailed information. So first here, the threat hunt details, similar to those you saw in the email notification as well as more detailed alert triage information. This original event timestamp is really important for threat hunt alerts. It tells you when the original activity occurred, which could be days or weeks before the threat hunt was run. Help and context is built right into the console. In the upper right, an indicator shows that a Carbon Black MDR product, in this case, managed threat hunting, is active, and it's got details like the types of alerts covered. Clicking on the MDR Threat Hunt badge provides your analysts with more information about what a threat hunt is, and then a more detailed view is available in the right rail help icons. Finally, the description is available on the info icon right next to the threat hunt name. Our next step in this alert would be to see what context the MDR analyst provided in the MDR comments. A typical comment will have details about the threat, what the analyst found, maybe roadmap to root cause, and recommended remediation steps. If the analyst took any containment actions, such as hash ban or asset quarantine, they'd include that in the comment as well. Of course, we can leverage the MDR analyst expertise by replying and asking a question. So that puts the alert into the pending MDR response state. Once the analyst responds, we'll get an email notification. And we can see the alert transitions into the received MDR response state. We can view that comment and then reply again if we need any other information. Of course, there's always the chance that the threat actor is going to try to exploit the same threat again in the future, which is why we have ongoing business hours monitoring as long as the threat is still relevant. That would show up in the console with an MDR badge. And again, you'll only see likely threats on your alert page. These alerts from ongoing monitoring aren't connected to a threat hunt, but you'll still get the same MDR triage information and similar comments to what we saw earlier. Before we go, I want to briefly cover best practices for managed threat hunting. Once you've purchased it and it's been enabled, you'll see it in your product menu in the upper right. Be sure to subscribe to email notifications from Settings Notification when a Carbon Black MDR analyst takes an action. The recommended actions here are when the analyst adds a comment, makes a likely threat determination, or completes a threat hunt. 
You can pre-authorize analyst containment actions on a per policy basis. Analysts will choose the containment action that stops the threat with as little business impact as possible. So for example, if they can contain the threat with a simple hash band, they won't go and quarantine the endpoint. The last step is on the alerts page from configure table in the lower left. Be sure you're displaying the MDR triage column. Well, thanks for tuning in. If you want to learn more, consider a POC for your environment or add on managed threat hunting, reach out to your Carbon Black sales rep.